Okay, <clears throat> so the first card is about going through a lot of mental conflict. You've got the card of being two minds about something. It's a two, it's a choice that you have to make. And the card below it, it says choose wisely. So you need to do some thinking about whatever this choice is. And it's causing a lot of problems for you. You're, um, you know, you're thinking about it quite a bit. You're focusing uh, a lot on whatever this decision is. It's causing you to be in your head quite a bit. Uh, so you're agonizing about that, um, you know, uh, stressing about it quite a bit. You've got the temptation card over here. So this, uh, you're feeling a bit negative about things that are going on about around you. You can see here too, this person's in two minds about what to do. So you're trying to find the answers or the solution. There's a key in the background over there and uh, you know you're thinking about it quite a bit quite indecisive at this particular moment there could be somebody around you that is uh, you know stressing you out uh, manipulating you causing you to uh, you know pushing you really uh, trying to to make this decision um, and maybe they're trying to manipulate you in some sort of way. You're feeling very restricted as well. Uh, this is the devil card usually in the deck. So there's a lot of negative energy going on and there's a lot of mental conflict. You're up in the air about a lot of things over there. So you need to think about it pretty pretty uh, long and hard really uh, before you make that decision, make that choice. So think about it very carefully before you make that choice. So in the past, you've got the light card over here, which is the sun card, which is about things um, coming uh, to light for you. Um, and, uh, you know, information has come to light. So something has brought in a lot of clarity for you. There's been a lot of disruption over here. So you had a tower moment. Uh, it seems to have caused you to feel very restricted. It caused a lot of energy shift. So there's been a big upheaval in your life and maybe this is what has led to this mental conflict it may have been caused by somebody maybe there was some information that came to light that caused this big disruption now going into the future it says use your intuition it's a choice that you have to make there's another two there and if you choose wisely you will be able to open the doors in order for you to move forward so you need to use your intuition you need to withdraw into yourself and you need to think carefully and make plans for the future there's some partnership or alliance coming in over there so there's somebody that is going to be able to help you um there are people around you that are going to be able to support you. you've got this really nice hand holding you and pulling you out of that difficult situation so whatever is going out, there is going to be help that comes in, but you need to think about it and uh, act on your intuition. Pisces is a very psychic sign, so use that intuition very wisely and give it a careful thought. Uh, think about all the consequences of whatever this decision is before you actually make it. Do your research. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm going to be using the Tarot of Dreams for the main read. I have shuffled this deck. The bottom of the deck, uh, you've got the nine of coins. So you are functioning on a very independent level over here. You've got um, Venus there sitting in uh, Virgo. So this is about you being very focused on your work and trying to manifest the money. And that is coming in for you. So you are financially independent. It is coming in for you. You are uh, starting to enjoy or you're starting to uh, appreciate uh, you know, the money that you are earning at this particular moment. But you are very, very work focused. You might be working in a very, very independent kind of job and working very much by yourself but getting a lot of recognition for whatever you're doing and it is starting to generate finances there with that nine of coins so this is being very focused on your work and focused on your job at this particular moment so what's happening with you? You've got the Knight of Wands over here, and it's crossed by the King of Wands here. So this is a lot of fiery energy. Uh, so you could be dealing with somebody that is very disruptive, and this might be in your work situation with that King of Wands. And, um, you know, you might be even thinking about changing your job. With the Knight of Wands, it's usually about travel, moving away from uh, that particular situation, moving off to somewhere else to go and do this particular job. And maybe this is uh, where this focus is. Maybe there has been some kind of offer that has come in on the work front um, in order for you to 
move and change location, relocate and do their job. There could also be some travel involved with this particular card with the Knight of um, Wands. But it's something, there is also some kind of decision, usually with the Knight of Wands, that you need to make very quickly. So you have to act very quickly on what you want to do. And this could be some kind of offer that comes in from the King of Wands, which is usually somebody that is an... Um, higher authority um you know you've got that sagittarius energy also over here this is a very dynamic person very much in charge uh, and you have to make that decision pretty quickly and it might uh, involve works or starting a new project at work it looks like you've got to be very hands-on and you've got to be very very you know on your toes really for whatever this decision is and whatever work you're going to be doing at this particular moment so there is some kind of offer maybe coming in from this king of wands you're dealing with this energy of uh, this fiery energy you've got to keep your your head above you know on your shoulders um, don't get too distressed about things too quickly uh, make sure that you're very unemotional very logical because this energy can be something that's you know it, it's almost something that sweeps you off your feet uh, something that um, affects your balance in a sense gets you a little bit off balance because it's very very fiery very very quick uh you know it's something that comes in that you have to decide on very very fast you've got this dragon over here with a lot of fire as well so it it's something that's going to be causing a lot of disruption, a lot of change in energy. It's a very, very uh, dynamic sort of energy coming in for you here. So this could be relocating, uh, changing jobs, maybe getting an offer that you didn't expect from somebody, and you have to make a decision pretty quickly there. But whatever that offer is that comes in, it's going to generate a lot of money as well. <coughs> So you've got that two of swords uh, in the past energy. So here you are trying to make a decision. Um, you've got the moon in Libra. Now Libra is that sign of, um, you know, trying to make some kind of decision and not being able to uh, decide what to do next. The facts had not been revealed to you yet, so you didn't have every all the information at hand when this decision was uh, to be made. This could also be you dealing with some kind of legal situation that has not resolved itself yet. The legal decision is still pending over there. So, um, you know, the moon is something that hides um, energies from you or hides information from you. It's a bit of a liar. So things are hidden over here with this two of swords. And maybe this is why you're waiting to make that decision or you haven't made that decision yet. You've got that six of coins over here, so money is coming in for you here. And you've got this person holding that sign of Libra. So this could be about you making a decision about maybe breaking a contract at work and starting something brand new. And here also deciding, weighing up your options over here with that six of coins. Um, even with that Libra sign over there, it's about weighing up those options. And it might be about a new job. You've got the moon in... Um, Taurus here. Now, Moon in Taurus is, uh, you know, exalted in its position, which means that it's, it's um, you know, a lot of money can come in with that particular exaltation. Uh, and this could be the reason why, you know, this particular job has come in and is going to generate a lot of finances. You've been weighing your options quite a bit over here, weighing your finances, doing a financial review, uh, and maybe, you know, holding back trying to hold on to your money as well but it looks like money an offer has been made to you and you have to make a decision about accepting that particular offer right now now you've got the uh, six of wands over here you know you want to move forward you want to generate and you uh, generate finances and also you've got uh, jupiter sitting in leo here so you are focusing on yourself focusing on your own expansion and maybe you want to do some travel as well with that jupiter sitting in leo so you know you are concentrating a lot um, on your uh, self-worth as well, doing a review of your self-worth. With that Six of Wands, it's a card of victory. Uh, so that means that whatever you're um, you know, doing at the moment, it looks like it's going to be pretty victorious. You're going to be pretty successful at it, and you're all out to do it. You're out there to conquer that particular problem. So going into the future, you've got the uh, Seven of Swords over here. You could still be dealing with some really nasty energy. So just watch out. This is the card of deception, deceit, uh, things happening. You've got the moon sitting there in Aquarius. So, you know, things are being hidden, but when they come to light, they will, be, uh, you know, come to light very suddenly and cause a lot of disruption. So this person's stealing these swords. So, you know, somebody could be, um, you know, um, being very deceptive around you uh, and uh, hiding a lot of information from you, but going behind your back and doing things really. Now, um, 
what's happening with you? You've got the seven of coins, so you have got some kind of choice. And this came out in the energy part of the read that's showing that you do have to make some kind of decision. You've got a lot of options pending for you, and you're pretty confused about what is going to be uh, the best option for you. So you are trying to make a big decision over here. Some of them are not so good because you've got a snake in the cup over there. Then you've got some keys over there. Uh, you know, you've got a tree there, so there could be something to do with growth there. Uh, you know, there could be study. Um, there could also be, you know, if you make the wrong decision, it's going to be a, a very toxic situation that you end up in. So you have to think about things very carefully, weigh all your options very carefully uh, before you actually make that decision. And it seems like you are making it, uh, weighing your options. And it's, it seems to be something that is uh, associated with your work um, life. Now, you've got the Queen of Coins. So whatever happens, it looks like it's going to be successful. Uh, with the Queen of Coins, this is the money card in the deck. So that means that there is money coming in over there. And it means that you're going to be very financially independent. Uh, and also with that nine of coins over here, it shows financial independence. So whatever this decision is, whatever this new job is that you want to un undertake, it looks like it's going to be pretty successful uh, and it's going to be able to generate a lot of finances for you. And it's going to give you that financial independence, that liberation. Now, what you want is you do want to manifest. You've got the Empress card over here. So you are focusing on money and you are focusing on starting something brand new. You've got a little, this Empress has got a little baby in her hands. So it might be a new job that you're focusing on and you're worried about it, uh, but you want it to generate finances. That's in your hopes and fears. So going into the future, you've got the High Priestess, uh, the Six of Swords, and the Five of Coins. So the High Priestess says, you know, it is a card ruled by Pisces. You need to withdraw. You need to think very, very clearly about uh, what is going on, and you need to use your intuition. So things have not been revealed just yet. You need to do some research and find out what has not come to light yet. So there's some information that is missing that you need to actually go in and have a uh, you know, uh, uh, rummage around and find out what this information is. Uh, and you do need to do some research in order for you to make a decision. You've got the Six of Swords over here. So this is maybe a, um, you know, ending of a, a legal decision. Maybe that's legal decision that uh, was pending or whatever that decision is uh, now brings you liberation from whatever the situation is. So you're going to be able to move away from a difficult situation into something that is much calmer for you. And, you know, um, You've learned a lot of lessons. You've gone through a lot of problems, but it looks like whatever is coming in for you will bring in light. So whatever has been hidden in this high priestess card, you can see here this person's got the light in their hands and they're now moving forward. So you, some information is coming to light uh, with this high priestess. If you you have to look for it or you have to ask somebody for the right you have to ask the right questions, really, in order for you to get that um, information. And with that information, you'll be able to use it and move forward. You've got the five of coins over here that is talking about still feeling, uh, you know, as though, you know, you've had a lot of loss, uh, but you will be able to move forward. So there are people around you that will be able to give you a hand. Maybe you're focusing a lot on those finances at the moment. You've got Mercury sitting in Taurus there. And Taurus is all about, you know, your wealth. So you do feel as though you've gone through some kind of loss as well. Uh, but there is going to be some kind of help that comes in. So Mercury is trying not to focus too much, focusing on, on money too much, but try not to focus on the loss too much. Try to be, um, you know, very, very positive about what you do and how you do it uh, in order for you to move forward. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Animal Tarot. So you've got two tens here, and the first one is the Ten of Summer, which is the Ten of Cups, really. And it says, uh, it is the time to express your love and appreciation for family. Um, it says, congratulations will be in order on a happy, fulfilling marriage, as well as raising a happy, balanced uh happy balanced children so this is about ending up difficult situations difficult emotional situations difficult family situations or just generally difficult situations that have been causing you a lot of upset so those cycles are now coming to an end you've got that rainbow over there appearing uh, and the clouds are moving away so it looks like uh, you know all these uh, problems that you've going through are now starting to come to an end you've also got the ten of spring which is usually the ten end of burdensome situations and it says you are working too hard and the stress will soon become too much reach out for help from others and take some time to play and enjoy life so you know you are, have been under a lot of stress a lot of pressure having to sort out a lot of problems but even that is coming to an end now with that 10 of spring so all those problems are coming to an end if you have been working too much and too and have been too stressed out it is time for you to take a little bit of a break and then you've got the prince of spring over here which says an opportunity arises that needs your attention right away 
moving quickly is important and yet there's nothing if you can't handle if you follow your inner guidance so this particular card the prince of spring is talking uh you know the first card that fell um is that knight of wands which is talking about you making that decision pretty quickly it's about an opportunity coming in and it looks like this person the knight of wands is going to make an offer to you uh and like i said it's something that you might need to travel for or you might even need to re relocate for but it's going to be able to generate you a lot of finances and you know with the um queen of coins it's going to give you that independence as well but it says that you do need to make uh the decision based on your intuition so go on your gut feeling if it feels right then do it and if it doesn't then don't because you are quite psychic and you will be able to make that particular decision you don't need to really ask anybody for advice uh it looks like you know what you want and you need to follow those instincts and it looks like it's going to give you whatever this job position is or whatever comes your way is going to bring in a lot of money you can see this woman surrounded by coins and luxury really so it's going to bring in a lot of money for you so i hope that this reading has resonated with you and please don't forget to like share subscribe and leave me some comments if it has and thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye